by their weapons of mass destruction. But to survive is to endure and prosper. And we have most certainly survived. Jacinto now stands as the last bastion of humanity. A final, desperate defense in the face of impossible odds. In a way, I pity them. But humanity, as always, brought this war upon itself. Epic's first Gears of War was a breakout success, and its stop and pop gameplay style and incredible graphics secured it immediate status as a AAA franchise. A sequel was inevitable, and while Gears of War 2 doesn't really change the winning formula all that much, the sheer scale of the game is a lot bigger than before. The story mode is a rampaging journey underground and back again, as you take the fight to the Locust in a desperate last stand to save humanity. While the campaign mode is solid, the star of the show is the buffed up multiplayer mode, which is even more refined, expanded and just plain addictive than before. Ultimately, Gears of War 2 won't convert anyone that didn't like the original, but it's a rambunctiously confident follow-up that no action fan should miss out on. For 15 years, we've been fighting for our very survival against Inhuman, genocidal monsters. The storyline picks up some six months after the original game. The planet of Sarah is continuing to go belly up, with the Locust tunneling further underground and sinking entire cities from below. And the fears are that the last settlement of Jacinto might also fall to the Locust. The Cog army decide to launch an attack underground, and as Marcus Phoenix and Dom Santiago, you head up Delta Squad as mankind's last desperate fight against the alien foes. Man. If Cole used to puke on a raven, he must be tagging the walls with Chook right now. now bitch. The overall setup for Gears 2 is pretty cool and it's generally a lot darker than the previous game. The story sheds more light on the characters and Locust Invasion, and while it ultimately throws up more questions than answers, it's a nice mix of grand themes and personal tragedy. Never seen the Locust run like this! Running away won't help! I'll just shoot you in your asses! You are pissed today. Damn right. I missed my family. I'll kill every one of these bastards. This is KR-36, commencing watch on rig. We'll meet you in land now. Out. The game also has a very different visual style. Whereas Gears 1 was characterized by crumbling buildings and huge monuments, Gears 2 has a much more organic feel to it, with open forests, snow-capped mountains, and enormous underground caves. The majority of Gears of War 2 is still about taking cover, popping out to fire, and finishing enemies off with gruesome melee attacks. In this area, Gears 2 refines the core gameplay with a tighter cover system and a suite of new moves. If two players ready their chainsaw attacks at once, they now enter into a duel and fight it out by tapping B repeatedly to win the battle. Then there are the new finishing moves. X still does the classic curb stomp, but B and Y allow you to rifle bot or punch your enemy to death instead. The final option is the A button, which grabs the wounded victim and uses them as a meat shield, and you can either let their body get cut to pieces with gunfire, or just snap their neck immediately using X. There are loads of subtle changes to the grenades too, with a new poisonous gas variety and a modified smoke bomb that knocks people off their feet. smoke. Well, you can even stick all the grenades to surfaces to use as mines. Gears of War 2 also offers a new arsenal of firearms to play around with. The flamethrower is particularly effective in short bursts, while the boom shield provides portable cover, allowing you to fire and move or simply stick it in the ground to bed down. There are also new heavy weapons that inhibit movement, but offset this weakness by being incredibly powerful. The Mulcher is a high-caliber machine gun that can cut through even the biggest enemies in a single burst, 
And while the mortar is a bit more difficult to use, its shower of explosives can take out several enemies at a time. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Gears of War 2 is best when played with friends, and while the lack of a four-player co-op in the sequel is a definite disappointment, the two-player mode has been improved. Players can now drop in and drop out of the story as they please, and each player can set their own independent difficulty level. The competitive multiplayer, meanwhile, has seen much bigger improvements, with the player count up from 8 to 10, plus 10 new maps and 3 new game modes. Submission is a brand new take on the well-worn Capture the Flag mode, except here the flag is a gun-toting civilian that needs to be carried as a meat shield. Guardian is a team-based game with a designated leader. Keep them alive and everyone else can respawn, but if they die, that privilege is over. Wingman, meanwhile, splits players into teams of two, with the emphasis being on sticking together to revive each other as needed. There's nothing particularly revolutionary about these game modes, but they fit perfectly into Gears multiplayer and add even more variety and longevity to online play. The standout part of the multiplayer package, though, is the Horde mode. The idea is to team up with up to four friends as part of a COG team and then take on wave after wave of locust enemies as they attack. As long as at least one player stays alive, the game keeps on going and each wave becomes bigger and more difficult each time. It's an incredibly tense and exciting game to play with friends and despite the steep difficulty curve, it's an incredibly addictive game mode. The new maps also offer a great mix of locations and layouts, some of which have new environmental effects. Hail features razor-sharp rain that hurts anyone who's left out in the open, while Avalanche features a snowstorm that fundamentally changes the entire layout of the map. Gears of War 2 may play a very similar game to its predecessor, but the new environments, darker storyline and epic scale still offer something new for fans. The new weapons, melee attacks and co-op options make for a campaign that you'll want to complete a number of times, while the multiplayer and the horde mode really add longevity to the package. In short, Gears of War 2 is a superior shooter that no action fan will want to miss out on.